And it's another record for Wichita's exploration place when it comes to attendance. Why the pandemic may be to thank for the larger crowds. 12 News at 5 starts now. You're watching 12 News at 5. A new call to decrease water consumption. This all an effort to avoid mandatory water restrictions. This new call includes a possible increase to your water rates. It comes as Cheney Lake, one of the city's two main water sources, keeps dropping. It is now at its lowest level in more than a decade. Sean Logging following this story for us today and has the latest from the city. Sean. Mike Rachel, the goal is to reduce outdoor water consumption. Now, many homeowners and businesses covet those green lawns and gardens, but the city of Wichita today says that accounts for 20% of total water consumption. So city leaders re-emphasizing their calls for voluntary conservation efforts. To save water, the push intensifies. It's all about trying to change people's habits getting us all in a better place. The city of Wichita says as an organization, it is moving into its stage two water conservation plan. That means watering turf once a week and no new planting of trees or grass seeding. Public Works Director Gary Jansen says it's the direction it wants homeowners and businesses to move, but voluntarily. Never need daily water applications in order to be healthy and survive. Um, typically our lawns and uh, landscapes can get away with being watered only a couple of times a week. The call is for people to do outdoor watering more strategically in the morning, not afternoon or evening. There's no value in watering in the middle of the day. I was out Sunday, northwest part of town. I saw four different commercial businesses watering at one o'clock in the afternoon. The city is targeting a 10% reduction in water usage. To reach that, there's a proposal to double the water rates for the highest users in tier two and three. Only 18% of all of our customers ever get into tier two and only 2% get into tier three. But still keep in mind, tier two and three usage historically is 20%. Uh, of our annual consumption. For mid-range users, that will be an increase of about $11. This will go before the city council on August 8th. The city says it is also reaching out to the highest water users, including businesses and HOAs. So people who live in those are not penalized for trying to reduce their water use. Asking them to consider backing off, which they can do, uh, and, and being a good part of this. The goal is voluntary action can make a difference, but a stricter approach remains available. Ultimately, if we can't see enough reduction, we will have to consider going to mandatory restrictions. Other approach the city is looking to take, increasing the groundwater in the water supply, but the current water treatment plant only has a minimal capacity to increase that. Wichita is also working with the other cities and water districts it serves to emphasize and encourage them to take similar water conservation measures. Sean, what are some other ways that people can save water when it comes to their lawns and gardens? Rachel, we also heard from K-State Extension today. They say it's not really about frequency, but quantity. So where watering once or twice a week without an inch of water is enough for a healthy lawn. They also say you can slowly scale back your watering to increase some of that drought tolerance. Now, the city of Wichita does have a lot of information about this on its website. We have a link to that page on the 12 News app. Sean, thank you.